Putin ally vows revenge on the U.S. and all the West. Russia's ex-president Dmitry Medvedev, a leading hawk on the Ukraine offensive, said Moscow will seek revenge for massive Western sanctions. The deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, who was head of state between 2008 and 2012, reacted angrily to a new swathe of U.S. measures punishing Russia. They came on the second anniversary of its full-scale invasion and following the death in prison of opposition politician Alexei Navalny. We have become accustomed to their endless limitations and have learned to live with them. Medvedev wrote on Telegram after the Biden administration's announcement of sanctions for over 500 Russian targets. Biden said that the sanctions would target those connected to Navalny's imprisonment, Russia's financial sector, defense industrial base, procurement networks and sanctions evaders across the world. They will ensure Putin pays an even steeper price for his aggression abroad, and repression at home, the president added in a statement. However, Medvedev said the bans are no longer directed against the authorities or businesses in the country. He added that, regarding the West, let them all suffer there. We all just need to remember this and take revenge on them where we can. His post described creating ructions for the West economically and undermining its political system without referring to the nuclear threats against Ukraine's allies that he has made numerous times recently. Putin's government also arrested Navalny's body. Mother of late politician is being pressured. The mother of Russia's late opposition leader, Alexei Navalny, said that she has seen her son's body and that she is resisting strong pressure by authorities to agree to a secret burial outside the public eye. Lyudmila Navalnaya said investigators allowed her to see her son's body in the city morgue. She said she reaffirmed the demand to give Navalny's body to her and protested what she described as authorities trying to force her to agree to a secret burial. They are blackmailing me. They are setting conditions where, when and how my son should be buried, she said in a video statement from the Arctic city of Salikard. They want to do it secretly without a mourning ceremony. Navalny's spokesman Kira Yamish said on X that his mother was also shown a medical certificate stating that the 47-year-old politician died of natural causes. Yamish didn't specify what those were. Navalny's mother has filed a lawsuit at a court in Salikard contesting officials' refusal to release her son's body. A closed-door hearing has been scheduled for March the 4th. She appealed to Putin to release her son's remains so that she could bury him with dignity. Navalnaya said that she had spent nearly 24 hours in the Salikard office of the investigative committee where officials told her that they have determined the politician's cause of death and have the paperwork ready, but she has to agree to a secret funeral. They want to take me to the outskirts of the cemetery to a fresh grave and say, here lies your son. I don't agree to this. I want you too, to whom Alexei is dear, for whom his death was a personal tragedy, to have the opportunity to say goodbye to him, she said. Navalnaya accused the authorities of threatening her. Looking into my eyes, they say that if I do not agree to a secret funeral, they will do something with my son's body. Investigator Voropayev openly told me, time is not on your side, the corpse is decomposing. She said, reiterating her demand to release her son's body immediately. U.S. warns Russia against nuclear-capable anti-satellite weapons. The Biden administration recently issued direct warnings to the Russian government against deploying a nuclear-capable anti-satellite weapon, U.S. officials confirmed to CBS News. The warning was part of a broader diplomatic push that has also involved urging the Indian and Chinese governments, among others, to weigh in directly with Moscow. The talks come after a warning from House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner, Republican of Ohio, who issued a cryptic statement last week regarding a serious national security threat, propelled the matter to public prominence. White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby later said Turner's concern was related to a space-based anti-satellite capability being developed by Russia, but added the capability had not yet been deployed and did not pose any immediate threat to American citizens. 
We are not talking about a weapon that can be used to attack human beings or cause physical destruction here on Earth, Kirby said. That said, we've been closely monitoring this Russian activity and we will continue to take it very seriously. CIA Director William Burns recently engaged with Russian spy chief Sergei Narishkin about the matter according to a US official who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss the sensitive talks.